red oxide primer. And that side's rush treated, and I'm going to red oxide primer that. Both doors are on. All the back's done. Cells to do next. I've got the cells in the house now, the outer cells. Post. Just needs cleaning up. The other side of this is done, just got to do a bit more. That's it. Doing it in sections. over there in a minute and that'll be today's work I've got that bit of floor over there to knock in where that brace goes but I've got to get underneath for that so I've got to get the car up as high as I can get it but I'll get that done soon the rear brace is all in When I've done some more. Other side's done. Door shut. That's got to bring the bottoms in slightly. That's going to be to do with this, needing straightening in a bit. That's where I'm at, that door shuts. But again, the bottom corner needs to be brought in slightly, hence why I haven't made nothing official yet. And the good thing about this red oxide primer is it shows where I need to grind my welds down and then I can re-overcoat some of it. I'm also gonna be doing the underside of this as well, rust treatment underneath and red oxide primer. That's what it looks like. Looking good. Both braces are in. I've just got to do some welding on that brace down there. I just want to straighten some of this floor up. Almost ready for sound deadening. Perfect. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Been rid of Get in there. So all these have been rush treated. I want to place these back on the car and see what needs to be done. Well, not this top one. This one's going to be last. This one. And see what needs repairs doing to it. Which I'll do while I'm clamping onto the car. Um, that's, really, that's it, really. That's it. On to the next. See you in the next one. Hey everyone. <coughs> right, this is what I've been doing. All that inner sill's done. It's all grinded flat. All solid. And on the inside, I have made the inner lip. So there, it runs from there all the way across up to there all the way up to there and then i've just got to do this bit i've just got to put a lip in here across here and up to this so where the where the wire comes down so i'm going to start grinding all this down and getting this in red oxide primer i'm going to rush treat this protect it there's my wilds 
that. That's what I've been doing. Um, just got to grind all this down. Got a little hole there to do. So that's what I've been doing. So I'm going to clean all this up in here. Oh, I've even, um, some people on YouTube's my subscriber says um wild everything up basically because the seams on these cortinas are not very good anyway so i've started welding all the top all the way across so that is welded in these i've got one little hole there there's a couple of holes there but these are welded to the side of the floor now from the inside and the outside this is getting ready to put off its outer shells put on so that's what I've been doing and I'll bring it back when I've done some more right, I've lost treated all of that it's really dark out now lost treated all in there has been welded all the way across So it's not just relying on, um, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. It's not just relying on the spot welds, that's it. It's got spot welds and it's been welded all the way up there as well. Right into the corner. I've even made the lip where the wire goes all the way across. A red oxide primer once this is done. Looking good. After this, I've got to do the passenger football, finish up the wild in. This one's nearly ready to have the outer seal put on. That's welded in brace on the top it's all been treated once I have a red oxide primer I'm going to flatten some more of them while it's down a bit because they'll stand out more with a red oxide primer just grind them down a bit afterwards seam seal and then actually get some paint just don't know what I'm going for yet well, still got the inner seals to the outer seals to put on anyway, so I haven't got to decide yet. So yeah, there it is. I'll show you when I put some red oxide primer on it. I'll show you the outer inner seals. That's what it looks like with the lip. Not exactly the same, but it's going to fold the wire in. That's brush treated. That's going to be red oxide primer in a minute. And I think I've got some silver paint left over from one of my other cars and I'm going to spray all in there. And inside the inner sills, but the outer sills, I'm going to paint the inside of them. So that they're all protected. I'm going to undo them spot welds there. Get the rest of that bottom sill off. Over there, done. Inside this door looks pretty good. So yeah, I'll be back when I red oxide primed it. Just wanted to show you how I up pin holes. These are obviously the tech screw holes I made to hold the thing in, the post. But I put a light on the inside of the car. And then I put and then I'll get the weld out and I'll start welding whatever shows the light. Because like the post up here for the door. It's got a little pin hole. But that's how I get the light, how I get holes. There's none in the arch. That's inside red oxided. You can see where I go grind the wilds down in this red oxide primer really helps to show where I go grind. Let's get the light all in there. All the inner cells been painted. Ready to take the outer cell. 
I've got a big bucket of the stuff so that I've got it all underneath as well. Wild it all the way. All the way in there, all the way across. I've got to give it one more coat. So that's what I've done so far. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, right. It's come to the end of my day now. Just putting stuff away. But yeah, I just wanted to really show you this again. Hope that's drying. Um, you can see where the lip is a little bit taller. That's got to be trimmed down there. But I want to put the outer seal on and then put a line across it to cut it so it's exactly the same all the way across. But yeah, I'd rather have a bit too much than not enough. So that's it. Oh. All that. Done. Obviously the rest of the car has been... I've only got the footwell over there to do. And then I'm back underneath the dash there. And then once it's all red oxide primed, I'm going to clean the whole car out. Could always start putting some stuff away. Um, yeah, get all the stuff out, put stuff away so I can still get them, obviously. And then I'm going to go around this whole floor. I won't show you on camera. I'll show you after I've done it so I don't bore you. You don't want to keep seeing me going around all the floor. And I'm going to go round every inch of this floor again. Where I've welded it all the way across there. I'm going to do that all round the car. Yes, if you ever had to replace a inner sill at a later date, it'd be a bugger to get off. But I don't plan on changing inner sills again. I'm protecting it for lifelong. That's the plan. And some of my subscribers have said, reinforce, reinforce. Because obviously these core teams weren't really put together very well anyway. Nice car. But not put work together well. So there's no harm in improving a few areas. Um, once I've emptied it out. My next plan I think. Is. Finish the bulkhead up there. Which again I won't show you. Because you've seen me messing around with that constantly. I've got a red oxide primer where I've cleaned it and rush treated it all under there I want to grind all that back rush treat it again everything because the more I go the more I've been doing it the more I've learned <clears throat> so I want to do some improvements and then I will rush treat and red oxide primer all under there as well all under there will be going black because you don't see it it will look like that section up there um, and then hopefully I'm going to do the back of the dash grind, sand that down rust uh, it and prime with that in red oxide I'm going to paint the inside of the dash black and then that will be ready to be welded back in so soon the dash will be going back in and I will try my best not to keep you waiting so long for more videos it's just that I've been waiting for stuff to come I can't work if I've got nothing to um, put on. And obviously I have to keep going by the weather days. One weather days, it says it's not going to rain. Uh, I mean, even when it has rained, I have been inside doing some of the work. So a lot has happened. And I will try and show you... I'll try and give you a little walk around when it's daytime so that we can see it all better. So thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe. And I will keep the videos coming for you. Bye-bye.